Hey everyone, Nicola here. So usually when we talk about animation in Pixel Lab, we're looking at the character creator. And honestly, for about 90% of your game, this is what you should be using. We've even added more complex stuff recently like drinking, pushing objects, and throwing. It's reliable, it's cheap, but it's still a list of presets. What happens when you need something that simply isn't on this list? What if you need your character to play a guitar? Or unfold a giant map? Maybe you need a campfire that loops, or a gate opening. That's why we just released this tool right here, Animate with Text. Today, I'm going to walk you through how to use it. We're going to look at the frame limits, how to cherry pick the best results, and a really useful trick to extend your animations infinitely. Alright, here's the interface. It's pretty simple. Reference image, action description, output method. Quick heads up before we start. Notice this text down here. This tool costs 40 generations per run. So unlike the standard tools, you want to be a bit more intentional with your prompts here. The other thing you really need to understand is the resolution versus frames trade-off. The model balances detail with motion. If you use 64 by 64, 32 by 32, or 16 by 16 icons or VFX, you get 16 frames. And if you go big, like 128 by 128, you only get 4 frames. Let's start with a standard 64 by 64 character. That gives us 16 frames. Let's make him read a map. I'm being very descriptive about the object appearing here, unfolding a large paper map. Remember, the AI has to invent those map pixels from thin air. Okay, let's see. Pro tip, even though you get 16 frames, you don't have to use all of them. In pixel art, less is more. You'll get a much snappier animation that looks handmade. Let's try one more, playing a guitar. There we go. The head bob is perfect. All right, let's move on to VFX. I've got this little 32 by 32 blue flame sprite here. We get 16 frames, plenty for a loop. I'm keeping it simple. Blue fire burning, swirling flames, magic energy. Okay, look at that flow. It feels like liquid. Again, for a retro game, I'd probably downsample this. Take our favorite frames and boom. Now let's do something cooler, a void portal. I want the inside of the portal to actually churn. Swirling vortex, imploding energy, purple magic, stars moving inside. Boom, look at it, beautiful. All right, final test, the big stuff. 128 by 128 stone gate. This is where the limit hits hard. We drop down to four frames here. I want to animate the opening state. Stone gate rumbling, sliding upwards, opening, dust falling. Now, you might think you're stuck, but here's a little trick I found to get around the four frame limit. I'm going to take the last frame of this generation right back into the reference image slot. I'm basically telling the AI, start from here. I'll prompt a monster coming out of the gate, and let's see what we get. Boom and you can chain this as many times as you want to make longer, more complex animations for big objects. So that's Animate with Text. Go give it a shot. I want to see if you can make some crazy portals. Let me know in the comments what you create, and I'll see you in the next one.